Hi, I'm Dr. Gustavo Menezes, and I'm the head of the Center for Gastrointestinal Biology in Federal University of Minas Gerais, Brazil. In our center, we are focused in the relationship of the different organs of the gastrointestinal tract in homeostasis and during diseases. My lab uses different techniques to understand the liver biology and mainly its connection with the immune system. For this, we traffic from living mice up to cell isolation and sample collection to perform flow cytometry, biochemical analysis, cell culture, and living cell imaging. It's well known that the liver is a key organ for the immune response. In fact, the liver is strategically located between the gut and the systemic circulation. Therefore, the liver needs to perform a very tight regulated filtering function to avoid that bacterial products or bacteria itself gain the systemic circulation. In this study, we use a combination of immunophenotyping and higher dimensional gene analysis to characterize several distinct populations of liver phagocytes. These immune cells are very important in the liver filtering function. Also, we use the cutting edge imaging technologies to spatially resolve in vivo the location of these populations within the liver compartments. My name is Bruna Araújo Davi, and I am a PhD student in cell biology from Federal University of Minas Gerais in Brazil. I will briefly explain to you one of the main techniques used in our lab, that is called intravital microscopy. For this, we use a conventional laser scanning microscope loaded with three different lasers that allow us to visualize simultaneously three different structures, cells, and molecules. In order to image cell behavior and location in vivo, we use different fluorescent expressing mice and also stain different immune cells and molecules with fluorescent probes and antibodies. This is an example of a three-dimensional reconstruction of liver microvascular environment. In blue, we stain the liver sinusoids using specific antibodies that were injected in the systemic circulation. In red, we can appreciate in the distribution, the location, and the morphology of the liver macrophages, the Kupfer cells. These cells were specifically located in the sinusoidal lumen. In contrast, we observe a population of extravascular cells, showed here in green. These cells are a population of dendritic cells. Using the same intravital microscopy, we also investigated how liver phagocytes capture bacteria from the bloodstream. In this example, we can see E. coli in green moving in the blood flow and that some of them are being arrested by Kupfer cells. To understand the relevance of these phagocytes to liver function, we chemically depleted the cells, a situation that mimics extensive liver injury and also mimics patients that were subjected to chemotherapy or full body radiation. We showed that after full depletion, liver phagocytes slowly returned to the initials and after two weeks, the number and the location of the different cells were restored. Therefore, in terms of histopathology, the liver was normal again. However, our data clearly showed that at this time point, the liver had a worse response to injury and also had a deficient bacterial clearance from the circulation. This was associated with a higher pro-inflammatory profile, as seen by enhancing expression of several inflammatory cytokines within the liver. Interestingly, after longer periods of maturation, liver phagocyte started to behave as the original cells, exerting excellent bacterial clearance from the circulation, and then the liver returned to normal function. Our data may be clinically relevant because we showed a susceptibility window that liver injury patients may experience, and that may have a significant impact in their response to injury and infection. These conditions are major causes of organ loss and death. We hope you enjoy our manuscript. Thanks.